So, apparently, the big buzz right now is not only is Vince McMahon coming back to full and complete autonomous control of World Wrestling Entertainment, but now numerous sources are reporting that the company has been purchased by an investment group that is a kind of like a front for Saudi Arabia an investment firm. I do believe they own part of a, a Manchester soccer team, football team, whatever. Um, I, I'm just, I, I'm just like, you know, scratching the surface of the details myself here of what exactly Saudi Arabia does to, to get investments in companies, but this is outright full purchasing control that is being reported so far. Nothing fully confirmed. I'm saying that up front in the video, but boy, do a lot of things make sense if this is the case. Um, backtracking a little bit here, Vince McMahon ousted himself from his own company due to numerous allegations of abuse of power, uh, sex scandal, et cetera, et cetera. And numerous reports are saying that other details and other accusations are going to be coming forth in the coming weeks and months. <coughs> and he's basically just wanting to run his own ship. You know, he built World Wrestling Federation and he is going to run that ship into the ground if he wants to. If it's on fire, he doesn't care. He wants to be the captain. Now... Those of you who don't know, I was a huge fan of WWE. A huge fanboy of WWE back in the WWE, WWF versus WCW days. And one of the absolute main reasons why I stopped watching this company was the blood money that they were getting from Saudi Arabia and those Saudi Arabia shows. Now... I don't like going into the politics of things here because it's going to draw a division of opinion. And I know I could speak till I'm blue in the face about why the Saudi Saudi blood money shows are ethically wrong on a number of levels. And you, you're either going to accept it or you're not. And it doesn't matter what I or anyone else says about it and how they view a country like Saudi Arabia. You, you're either just not going to care or you're not going to change your mind or you're going to agree with me. And it doesn't matter what I or anyone else says about it. But to think that this company is actually going to own the company now. All I got to say to WWE fans is you deserve this. You deserve this because you are the ones that, that actually sat by where people like me just said, done. You sat by, you still purchased products. You still bought the membership for the network. You still tuned in to watch and say like, yeah, this is okay. What you're doing. You deserve it. You deserve to be owned by Saudi Arabia and have them have a major stake in control in what you're going to see. They let, Crazy old Vince McMahon to still be running things because they're still buddy buddy with Vince McMahon. And another thing that's also being reported is not only is Saudi Arabia rumored to be the big hot topic of uh, of the company that is going to be or is going to be taking control of the company, but that the company is going to go back to being private. What that means is they're not going to be traded on the stock market. Um, accusations and whatever are just going to be whatever, you know, Vince, Vince stepping out. One of the reasons why Vince stepped away from power is because the board members were saying, you're going to hurt the company's value by staying here. <laughs> we're a publicly traded company. The stock is going to tank. If you stay here, all these accusations keep coming out about you. It is bad for business. If you're a private company, no one cares what the public opinion is. Saudi Arabia clearly doesn't care about bad public opinion. They've had it for years and they don't give a shit. This is like the perfect scenario for Vince McMahon. Not only is he going private, but he is being purchased by a company that frankly... As far as women rights and insulting women goes, ha oh, ha, Saudi Arabia don't give a shit. 
I mean, d- does it not speak volumes that Stephanie McMahon resigned last night? Or was told, either you resign gracefully or we're just going to publicly fire you, which is, let's be real, the honest situation of what happened. Do you think Saudi Arabia wants some company where a woman is one of the figureheads of it? Like, boy, if that Stephanie McMahon resignation doesn't make a lot of sense now. And what blows my mind is Triple H is still part... Again, it's all still rumors that Saudi Arabia purchased the company. But man, if my wife had to quit her job because it doesn't politically align with the company that is purchasing them, I'd be out the door with her too. I would do whatever to pay the bills. Like, I don't have enough money to live in the lap of luxury anyway if Paul had to walk away from this. I mean, my God, does he have any respect for his wife? Or is he just doing what's best for business? Is he living his character? That's why I tweet... I, not tweeted, um posted in the community tab here on on YouTube saying how, you know, Stephanie may have quit. Your move now, Hunter. Like, man, he would get so much respect if he just said, I'm out. I'm out. How, how am I going to work for the company that wouldn't employ my wife simply because she was a woman? Now... I'm trying to devil's advocate things here and say, Archfiend, you know, relax. Is it that big of a deal? Every nation that became progressive was a very rights stomping down upon of minorities and women, etc. At some point in history, you got to take baby steps to join the progressive world because I am someone who fancies myself a progressive. And I see a company like Saudi Arabia who it's like, wow, less than 10 years ago, you gave women the right to get a driver's license. Like I'm supposed to sit there and go, wow, look at this progressive bastion of the world. A country where it's still illegal to be homosexual. A country where it's like, again, not to get into the politics of it. I'm I'm trying my hardest not to. But how can you not? Like, if it does end up being true that Saudi Arabia and their public investment front firm purchased World Wrestling Entertainment and that Vince McMahon is going to still be able to to run the company however he wants. Like, this is... Saudi Arabia is, is the country when they were holding one of the Crown Jewel shows. They wanted Yokozuna to perform on it because the, the Saudi royal family loves big, gigantic men. They just they just love girth. The only problem is Yokozuna has been dead for years at that point in time. Like, this is the company purchasing WWE? Because it, cause Vince McMahon has uh, complete control. Vince McMahon could do what he wants. Vince McMahon got back in control of this company because he has a majority claim of the Class B stock. He owns like supposedly 80% of it, which means he can hire and fire whoever he wants on the board. And he did just that. He either made people quit from the board of directors in WWE or just fired him and replaced them with people that would vote him back in. And that's what he did two days ago. This is, I don't know if insanity is the right word. I don't know if, I don't know what you're going you're gonna to say to this. But man, WWE fans, you have no one to blame but yourselves. This company thrived and became a financial juggernaut because of, of you sticking around. You had a chance to be offended by these crown jewel Saudi Arabia blood money shows and you stuck around. You deserve this. You deserve this. 
You deserve your show to be laden with propaganda, to have the rights of women or anything that anyone or anything that is remotely homosexual. You deserve it to be stamped out of your show. Vince is going to put whoever the Saudi prince wants there. Like if you if you don't seriously think that the Saudi royal family isn't going to have a direct influence on who even gets employed in the company now. Again, why does Stephanie McMahon magically, magically just out of the clear blue something no one was expecting to resign? And do you seriously think with this and say it with a straight face that Saudi Arabia, she, she, she resigned on her own terms. Saudi Arabia would have been fine if a woman was co-CEO of the company. The hell out of here. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to say like, okay, this is a baby step to becoming a progressive state and you have to let this carry out archery and just, you know, let, let them do their thing and let them prove you wrong. Okay. Okay, you go with that. If that's seriously how you want me to view this. Okay. The country ruled by Islamic law is going to become a progressive state. Okay, let's go with that. Let's go with that, sure. Because things ruled by religion always, always end up on the progressive end of things. <sighs> yeah. Um... Well, again, I mean, it's not like I'm going to say I'm never going to watch. W I was already not watching WWE. I was already not caring about them. I was already hoping for their demise. <laughs> again, no, nothing against the guys there, guys and girls. Excuse me. I already sound like I'm, I'm, I'm part of the Saudi royal family. It, it, nothing against the guys and girls working there, but I, I, I know they're just trying to earn a paycheck, but. <sighs> Does, does pride mean anything? Does self-respect mean anything anymore? Like, again, I, how is Triple H still working there? I know. And again, I know this is all rumors and not confirmed yet. And it could be something that is completely different. And if something completely different happens, I'll, I'll, I'll make a video owning my words here. Uh, saying, oh, it ended up not being Saudi Arabia that purchased them. Okay, well then, we'll, we'll see. But I mean, where there's this much smoke and where this this much stuff that makes sense now... And again, it's the WWE fans out there. Are, are you seriously going to support this company? Why am I asking that? Because mo most people don't give a shit. It, it, it's like... It's like when Donald Trump got elected. I said to myself, well, well, here's the thing. The majority of people don't give a shit whoever gets elected president. Because barely half the people vote. Half of half of those people didn't vote for the guy or girl who ends up winning. And most people just, they don't care. They live in their little suburb area or their urban area and have nothing in their life affected by whoever gets elected. Oh, sure, maybe their taxes go up a little bit or, or down a little bit or whatever. But their, their rights as a human being stay the same no matter who gets, who gets voted in. Their status, their wealth, their whatever stays the same no matter who gets it voted in. So they don't care. And that's the majority of people. The majority of people in any given area, situation, whatever. They're just like, well, you know, just don't get me killed by being voted there. You know, Unless you live in Russia right now, you know, you're not going to get just shipped off randomly and thrown into a meat grinder. Um against your will just the majority of people just don't care like <laughs> I, I understand that the majority of people that are consuming WWE won't care whoever owns them they could be bought by the Ku Klux Klan and the majority of people probably won't care <clears throat> so very, very, very interesting. And you may be saying like, well, you know, if you don't care about WWE Archfiend, why are you even caring enough to make a video about it right now? You know, why are you giving your opinion? If you don't give a shit, why should anyone give a shit what you have to say? Because it is something that I consumed hundreds and thousands of hours of my life with at a point in time. It was like the form of entertainment. It was more entertaining to me than the NFL at one point in my life. 
And it was years on end that it was like that. It was something that I adored from when I was a child. And to see what it has become. Yeah, I'm going to reflect on that. Yeah, I'm going to feel a little bit of sorrow. But again, seeing what they become in the corners they've turned, it's deserved. Like, I root for their demise. And again, nothing against the people working there trying to earn a paycheck. Just to see what they've become. I don't want to see them get success. You know? Hey, you could say that you know, I'm being spiteful because I'm not a fan of them anymore. I'm rooting for them to have a demise. <coughs> but seeing the crazy old man that is running the company into the ground. But again... A lot of people don't care. And I accept that. It doesn't mean I'm gonna have something not gonna have something to say about that. So, anyways. There you go. There's my 5 a.m. in the morning ramblings because the baby got up and was crying and needed a diaper change. So came down here and shot a quick video for you guys. Anyways, WWE fans, I guess I guess what I most want to hear is is from you guys. Like I don't, does anyone feel guilty supporting the company and seeing it end up like this? And again, I know it's all just rumors, but I mean, if I was a betting man, I'd bet on this actually being, because again, there's too much smoke and too many things add up now. Vince is the most buddy-buddy with Saudi Arabia, and they will give him full autonomous control, and for him to be a perverted little sex pig and those allegations being damning to the company saudi arabia you know hey nbc still has investors to to appease disney comcast all that well i know nbc and comcast are one of the same but you get you get what i'm saying all those companies still have damage that can be done to them if more allegations turn out to be true that are coming out against vince mcmahon saudi arabia huh they hired some guy that abuses women sexually bad vince you can self control the company here no problem buddy anyway wwe fans like you you are the ones that i'm actually interested most to hear from i i don't care if you call me insane you call me a crybaby i i'm just interested i'm just interested how many of you left out there supporting this company and why, if not ever, will you ever give up your fandom to them? Like, what makes you tick? That's that's what I'm more interested. What, like the the only thing that I'm really interested in now is what makes the WWE remaining fans tick, and what would what would hypothetically, if you made it this far, what would be the 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 crossing point? Like, what would make you, if you're gonna stick with the company, I want you to at least tell me. What would make you quit watching? Okay? I mean, because like this, this ain't like a religion. Like I understand why people don't leave the Catholic Church and, and they could have, you know, a thousand more priests diddling little boys and it still won't change their mind about sticking with the Catholic Church. Like I understand that's a religion. This is WWE. What would make you quit watching, supporting in any way, shape, and form like myself? WWE. That is all.